Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of all of us at the U.S. Mission, I want you to know that the United States stands with Pakistan in its fight against coronavirus. We've made Pakistan a priority country for emergency coronavirus assistance. We redirected $1 million in existing funding and provided $1 million in new funding for lab and emergency supplies and to enable communities to identify potential coronavirus outbreaks. For example, through a smartphone application that will increase, expedite, and centralize case investigation and response. At the request of the Pakistani government, we quickly adapted a procurement system for commodities essential to coronavirus response. The United States Agency for International Development, USAID, also designed a database for airport authorities to identify potential coronavirus cases among passengers based on their symptoms and travel history. The United States and Pakistan are long-standing partners in tackling global health challenges. And this partnership has been critical as we work together against coronavirus. USAID and the Centers for Disease Control have trained healthcare providers and ensured people have access to safe and effective medicine. In fact, more than 100 recent Pakistani graduates of CDC's Epidemiology Lab training program are on the ground investigating coronavirus cases in Gilgit, Baltistan and Punjab right now. In partnership with the Sindh government, the United States provided $18 million to establish the Jacobabad Institute of Medical Sciences, which has an intensive care unit. We are also providing 13 fully equipped ambulances to health authorities in Hyber Pathumkhwa. Coronavirus affects everyone in Pakistan, including the American citizens who live here. For Americans in Pakistan, I urge you to sign up for our smart traveler enrollment program known as STEP. Through STEP, you'll receive security and health alerts from our embassy so you can stay up to date in this rapidly changing situation. It's easy to sign up. Just go to step.state.gov. And just as you are doing at home, we at the U.S. Mission are taking careful steps to avoid infection. Some of our staff are temporarily relocating back to their loved ones in the United States. Those here are following a strict regimen of frequent hand washing, no touch greetings, and keeping two meters distance. Our public services are limited to emergency visa and American citizen cases through appointments made on our website. Especially now, the U.S.-Pakistan Partnership in Health is delivering positive impacts for our peoples. We will keep looking for ways to deepen our collaboration with new technologies and resources to achieve our shared goals of health and prosperity for our peoples. Boha Shukriya.